what kind of challenges you see that are unique to energy sector that would traditionally make it harder for them to collaborate? Someone once told me, um, and this has stuck through my whole career, uh, utilities have millions of users, but just one customer, and that's the regulator. Right. So, you know, I live in San Francisco. PG&E is my utility. Um, they really are accountable only to the regulator who approves their strategic plans and, and their electric rate, rate cases. Um, and so they're not competing for my business necessarily. And that's very different from a lot of other industries. Right. We're dealing with regulated monopolies. And there's a reason that it's evolved in this way. There are some benefits to that. There are some drawbacks. Um, and, you know, the regulator uh, is traditionally hyper-focused on safety, reliability, cost efficiency. Um, and the incentive structure has evolved such that, you know, uh, utilities tend to make a guaranteed, guaranteed rate of return on, on certain types of investments um, and therefore, that's what they tend to be incentivized to pursue, like large capital investments. And what's happening is uh, the sector is rapidly evolving because we have decarbonization goals. Uh, you have a proliferation of carbon-free energy resources that tend to be variable in nature, right? Solar, wind, they're distributed, they're not centralized. And then also you have an explosion of electric load growth. And this is very, very recent. Uh, even up till, you know, 10 years ago, uh, expected load growth was flat. We weren't growing our electric load. We were becoming more efficient. We were installing LED light bulbs and more efficient refrigerators. Um, but with the rise of uh, electrification and electric vehicles and heat pumps and data centers, uh, electric load is, is really exploding. And so you have utilities that find themselves in, in a challenge and regulators who find themselves in a challenge where we can't actually build our way out anymore. We can't build enough wires fast enough and cost efficiently enough to solve problems the way we used to. But the incentive structure isn't yet there to operate more efficiently. Um, and so that's one of the major challenges of how, how do we get uh, the major entities involved in this energy transition to be appropriately incentivized uh, to embrace uh, new ways of doing things that um, optimize our investments and, and properly optimize the physical infrastructure that we already have? 